All right. Let's see. Okay. So today we're going to work on a lot of activation of our core, adding a bit of um, rectus abdominis, that six pack. Um, strength. So today is all strength, rolling into an A. Um, hip flexor strength, hamstring strength. So that's what it's going to take to get super compact, to get into um, strengthening and balancing and getting that stronger crow. All right, so let's go ahead and start on floor back. <sighs> Hugging our knees into our chest, rocking from side to side. <sighs> just extending the arms out and just circling out the wrists, warming up the wrists, open and close, open and close the hand, open and close, open and close. Like you're squeezing, I don't know, what are we squeezing? Squeezing oranges? <laughs> and go a little faster, a little faster, a little faster. And shake it out, 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 shake it out. And point and circle out the feet. And changing directions. And then flattening the low back. So clasping onto the shin bones and flattening the back. And flattening the back, flattening the back. And kind of squeeze. So we're warming up the uh, hip flexors because we're asking our knees to come to our collarbones and rounding to a, a little ball. Inhale, inflate. Exhale. And squeeze. So draw the knees into the shoulder, into the collarbone, into the armpits. You're using it with the assistance of your hand. But just kind of put in the back of your mind what this feels like. Pressing the knees into the shoulders, bringing the heels down to your sit bones, so that's active through your hamstrings, drawing your knees into your shoulders, flattening your back. and active through the core. So really bringing your belly in, your, your, belly, your belly presses down. So you're, li you're rolling, yeah, you're tucking, you're squeezing, you're lifting and hug, hug, hug. And release. And draw and bring the knees in and hug. So you're using the assistance of your hands here. And release. Squeeze the hamstrings. So here, activate through the hamstrings. So really bring the ankles closer to your sit bones. And tuck, keeping the ankles to your sit bones. And then use your hands to assist. Drawing your knees, but keeping, using your core to draw your knees and using your hands to assist, so you're using both. You're using both. And you should start getting, engaging through your core and starting to get warm and release. Release, release. Hug the right knee into the chest. Actually, we'll keep the left knee bent. Since we've done so much flexion, we want to keep that active. Right knee into the chest. And really draw. So we're, um, finding the sensation of hamstring activation, right? So this, you're using your muscles to do this, to really squeeze, like you're putting a peanut underneath your knee and you're gonna squeeze and you're gonna hold it there. So that's one. And then two, you're gonna bring your knee into the shoulder. So you're using this oblique in your abs. You can push on your left foot, pull, push with your left foot to really bring your right knee into your shoulder, into your armpit. So you can feel this hip flexor working and you can feel the hamstring working at the same time and your abs, so three. So the recipe is you need all three things to be super duper active. And squeeze, squeeze the peanut. So you have a peanut here underneath your knee and you have a peanut here, actually here, <laughs> bringing your knee to your, um, to your collar. 
and release. The other side. So first, bring the ankle to your sit bone and squeeze. So place the peanut underneath your kneecap and squeeze, 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 squeeze. Now we're going to activate through the left side of the rectus abdominis and your oblique rectus abdominis by bringing this knee here and squish the peanut. Whether your peanut's here, maybe your peanut's here. I'm really press. So you can use your right foot. But you're keeping squeezing this peanut. So two peanuts, peanut underneath your knee and peanut right here in your rib cage that you're trying to squish. And here you can use your right foot to help you a little bit while you get used to engaging through both the hamstring and your uh, rectus abdominis while you bring this here. And release. Ooh. Um, separate the feet, mats apart, and just draw your knees over to the right and over to the left, nice and slow, massaging out the back. Okay. Now, <laughs> now we're going to do a slightly different version. Okay, so let's do this. Let's do, we're going to do a slightly different version of upside down crane than we normally do. So normal, actually let's, we'll do both versions. So you guys can feel the difference. So we're going to take our hands up to the sky, take our uh, feet together, knees apart. Actually, we'll do this. Um, inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, curl the chin to the chest and reach the fingertips forward. Reach the fingertips forward, right? Drawing the knees to your shoulders. So we're lifting up the hips. We're rounding. We're getting that crunch, making that C. C is for cookie. And so we're aiming our uh, knees to the around our shoulders and we're lifting through our hips. So in order to lift through our hips, we have to curl. We have to curl. And release, inhale. Exhale, curl. Engaging through your, your, your core. Draw your knees to your shoulders. Reach, 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 reach and release. One more, inhale. Exhale, curl, curl, curl. And release, okay. So hands up high towards the ceiling. So we're in like upside down, um, this would be upside down kakasana with the knees on the outside. So arms straight, curl, and we're gonna bring the knees to the outside of the elbows, the elbows to the inside, yeah? So straight arms, press the knees in, press the elbows out, and we're gonna begin to lift the hips. Do you see that? So the hips lift, centimeter, an inch, is not a lot in terms of height, but it's a super, super intense engagement. Lift, 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 lift. Lift, 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 lift. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And release. One more, just one more. Bring the knees to the outside of the elbows, elbows to the um, inside of the knees. Press out, knees press in and lift and round. Round, 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 round. Lift the hips, lift the hips. And release. Okay. So different variation, right? More along on the straight arm crow variation. So arms are straight and the knees go onto your tricep. The higher they go, we want to aim. Our goal is to get into the armpits. So here, so I'm going to turn this way so you can see. So here, you see that? So instead of to the outside, really crane, right, is in the armpits on the tricep. So we really should be doing this here. So in this, we're going to activate the hamstrings, right? Activate the hamstrings. Hamstrings first, hamstrings. Squeeze the peanut. Squeeze the peanut onto the rib cage. So your thigh, so activate the hip flexors. 
arms are straight. You're gonna press a third peanut between your knee and as high up into your tricep, arms straight, so here. So instead of bringing your arms forward, take the arms, take the arms right above your um, nose, or actually what is this, right above my forehead, and you're gonna bring your knees to your triceps, right, instead of the other way around. We wanna bring, you have your hands up here, you wanna bring your knees, hamstring squeeze, hip flexor squeeze, and bring your knees to your triceps. Now I'm pushing my arm into my knee, my knee is pushing into my tricep, and I'm squishing the peanut, and I'm holding for five, four, three, two, one, release. Oh, that is more in line with Bakasana straight arms and get you that feeling of what your abs need to do. I like that one. That's like a new tool in my tool belt. I really like that one. So we're gonna do that again. This time we're gonna see if we can get higher. We're gonna see if we can get higher up onto the tricep. So arms straight over your, um, straight over. I guess they're right over my cheekbones. Point the feet. Hamstrings first. Hamstrings, hip flexor. Hamstring peanut, hip flexor peanut. And now press the knee into the tricep. Tricep presses into the knee for five, four, three, two, and one. Release, release, release. And drop the knees over to the left and right. So windshield wiper the knees. Because we have so much contraction, I don't want to lose all of that contraction by straightening our legs right now. Okay. Different. You should feel that engagement really intensely in here. Okay. So we will add on. So now that we have our arms here, we can bring our knees there. We have to really, really, it's really about this rounding and engagement, a strong engagement with the core. So we're gonna take our arms over our heads, take our arms over our heads, and we're gonna go through tuck with our hands over our heads. Now this is too, um, if this is too challenging, you can always place your hands down by your side. We can start with our arms over our heads, point the feet, and this is going through the engagement of the three, uh, the muscles that we need. So hamstring here. So this is a, like a half tuck. Bringing our knees. The goal here is bringing our knees into the armpits by lifting our hips, which you could tell them. Not going to get there today, but that's the goal. Knees into the armpits by lifting the hips. We're squishing this peanut, we're squishing this peanut, we have our hands overhead, and we're keeping the core engaged. We're keeping the core engaged, knees together, we're keeping the core engaged. As you, you keep the core engaged even as we lower and tap the feet back down to a half tuck. And then we bring it in back in for a full tuck and lifting the hips, bringing our knees into our armpits, into a half tuck keeping the hamstring engaged. So even though you might not see, this engagement of the hamstring, keeping the hamstrings engaged the entire time, because it's a different sensation, and back into a half tuck, and come into a full tuck, and release. <sighs> now, if you have if this tuck here and getting your hips just slightly lifted is challenging, you can, to just kind of feel what that lift feels like, you can, a couch works pretty well, to use the couch as a brace so that you get the sensation of what does it feel like to get my knees really closer to my shoulder, shoulder, shoulders and armpits. What does that feel like? You can use the couch so that you can get that sensation when 
um, just to feel like how much rounding needs to happen. And you can try that. But otherwise, we'll come back into our tuck. So we're going to do five. Five really good, really engaged tucks. Because this is the key to crow. And even I've struggled with crow for years and years and years and years. So arms overhead, hamstring engagement, core engagement. And knees of the armpits for four, three, two, one, and release. Breathe. Really try to bring the knee. So it's le you know what it is. It's um, to get the knees here. It's less focusing on like oh I can't get my knee up there. It's really here. We work on lower abs right compressing. And it's really the rounding and the curling and bringing the belly button towards your sternum and like making, I guess it's like a clam, right? So arms overhead, knees into the, knees into your shoulders and really focus less on the knees, more on the, on the core and rounding, 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 rounding. Three, two, one. Breathe. What is that? Two. Okay, three more. Inhale, exhale, curl, right? But this is super active. So hamstrings active and round. Round, bring your belly button to your nose. Can you bring your belly button to your nose? And release, two more, two more. Ready? Curl, belly button to nose, belly button to nose. The tendency will also, you want to take your feet up. Remember, hamstring squeeze, belly button to nose, belly button to nose, round. Ugh, and release. Maybe you'll get like a millimeter, a millimeter further, a millimeter higher with those hips. Last one, you can do it. You can do it, you've already gotten stronger already. Hamstrings engaged, core engaged. Four, three, round two. Get a cramp in your hip flexors. And one. Release. Release, release. Okay. All right. Yes. Yes. All right. Okay, let's come into all fours. Rocking back and forth. Active through the hands, spread the fingertips wide, pull the knuckles up towards the ceiling, circle out the hips, changing directions, tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Your down dog should feel like, like feathers, like so light because your core is incredibly engaged. Inhaling, right leg comes up towards the sky. Swing away, forward runners lunge. Using your core back foot to the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhaling all the way back up, floating arms up towards the sky. And close the pose, inhale. Exhale, swan dive it forward. Inhaling, halfway up, exhale, plant the hands, step it back, high plank. Lower down, knees, chest, chin. Roll the shoulders back and down, tops of the feet down, cobra. Tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Inhaling, left leg comes up towards the sky. Swing it away, forward runners lunge. Back foot to the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhaling all the way back up, floating arms up towards the sky and close the pose, inhale. Exhale, swan diving forward. Inhaling halfway up, exhale, plant the hands, step it back, I think. Lower down. Cobra, three shoulder rolls, lift, tops of the feet down, tuck the toes, press it back, downward facing dog. 
Inhaling, right leg comes up towards the sky. Swing it way forward, runner's lunge. Drop the back knee down, forward up and back. Lift the right heel, lift the right heel. Send the left hip forward. We know the hands down. Top back foot to the top of the mat, forward fold. Lift the heels, come down for a low squat. So we're in that very similar position. Hamstrings have peanuts, so we're squeezing. The knees roll the, roll the heels forward, so that will bring the chest in line with the hips. Knees towards your collarbone, squeezing through the hamstrings. So this is squeezing here. And your hamstrings are squeezing. Lift the hips into chair. Squeeze your inner thighs towards each other. Your core is super duper active and engaged. Inhale, come on up. Toss the arms back behind you. Forward fold. Inhaling halfway up. Exhale, plant the hands. Step it back, high plank. Lower down. Cobra, pull the body forward, tuck the toes, press it back, down facing dog. Inhaling, left leg comes up towards the sky, swing it way forward, runner's lunge, drop the back knee down. Inhale, forward up and back. For four, we'll lift the left heel. Three, two, and one. Windmill the hands down, back foot to the top of the mat, forward fold. Now in this forward fold, active through the core, right? So hamstrings are stretched in this instance. We're active through the core. Can you fold deeper? Can you get your belly button and your sternum to come closer together? Lift the heels, squat. So now hamstrings active, core is active. So sending that heel, those heels forward, stacks your rib cage over your hips. And can you bring your knees into your rib cage? Squeeze the inner thighs. Half chair. And come into chair. Inhaling all the way back up and open to the chest. Inhale. Exhale, swan dive the forward. So in your forward fold, can we get deeper rounding and using our core? Bringing bringing our sternum to our belly button, to our thighs. Inhaling halfway up, exhale, plant the hands, step it back, high plank, lower down, inhaling up dog. Exhale, tuck the toes, press back. Now we're facing dog. All right, let's walk the hands Back to the feet, malasana, round, knees open. Walk the hands forward, round and tuck. So that rounding, find engagement in your core, in your rectus abdominis. Round into a ball, round into a ball, round into a ball. Okay, so let's just do crow and see and kind of baseline where we're at. And again, this is wherever you are at, it, the pose is, it's not about the pose. It's not about getting your feet off the ground. It's about finding the engagement of the muscles, right? Hamstring, core. And in today's class, when I say core, I mean the rectus abdominis. 
Yeah. So, because there's four, four plus one muscles of the core. So hamstring and your core today. So if you need a pillow for that psychological part, that's okay. If you need a block to put your head on, that's okay. It is more forward than you think it is. Yeah. So, and we're going to do, um, um, this on your, on your uh, tricep. Yeah, so somewhere on your tricep. Your goal is to get your knee onto the tricep. The goal is deep, you know, you've seen the pictures. So we're gonna try to go way up high into our, aiming for the armpits going forward. If you need to bounce, oh look, look at that. Here we go, forward. And lift, hamstring, yeah? I think that's the furthest I've gotten too. <laughs> Yeah, so remember, hamstring, core. If you need like a psychological safety crash pad, that's what you do, but it's more forward than you think it is. And if you're just here, so remember, into the tricep, and if you're just here with one leg, that's okay too. Nice, nice. Everyone looks more balanced and more stable today. More balanced and more stable. Cause it's really about, right? The key ingredients for Crow is that hamstring activation and that uh, core activation together going forward, active through the hands. All right. Okay, so let's do let's do let's come into all fours and back into down dog inhaling right leg comes up towards the sky So square the hips, squeeze the inner thighs together, active through the core. Your core is super engaged. So reaching the right foot back, float the left arm off the mat and reach for four, three, two, and one. Back into one-legged down dog. Right knee into your right tricep, high plank. So really high up into the armpit. So this hamstring engagement and this core engagement for three, two, and a one. Press it back. Right knee into your left tricep, super high up. So round, so hamstring engagement here. Draw it in, 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 and lift for three, two, one, and press it back. Right knee back into your right tricep. High up, right knee way up into the tricep. Whoa, three, two, one. Press it back. Right foot in between the hands, runner's lunge. Runner's lunge. So if you have, where is your, so if you have both sides, actually two blocks, two blocks into your runner's lunge, Tall side of the block. Rock it forward into a runner's lunge. Back into pyramid. So notice how your tailbone wants to wag over to the right. Wag it back over the left so you're square. Flexing, you see that flexing through your right toes, toes to your nose, toes to your nose, toes to your nose. Drop the feet down into a runner's lunge. And then press it back. Dropping it into a runner's lunge. And then pressing it back. And then runner's lunge. And lift the chest. Forward and then drop it back into pyramid pose. If 
use your newfound core to draw yourself more forward into the pyramid pose. And come down into a low lunge, sweep the hands forward, up and back, lift the right heel, lift the right heel. Open the chest, open the chest. Inhale, forward, up and back, and open the chest. Keeping that right heel lifted. Windmill the hands down. Sweep the right leg back behind you. Come into supported side plank or full side plank. Or tree side plank. Send the right arm back behind you. Open up to the chest for three, two, and one. Lower the knee down. Well back, forth. Up back, forth, up back, forth. One leg it down though on the left side. So square the left hip down, squeeze the inner thighs together. Use your core, bring your chest closer to your thigh, your thigh closer to your chest. Get deeper into your down dog, one leg and one arm down dog. Use your core, round through your low back, Tend the right fingertips, right arm reaches forward for five, four, three, two, and one. Back to one legged down dog. Left knee to your left tricep. Go high, go high, go high, go high. Three, two, one. Press it back. Left knee to your right tricep. First, the hamstring contracts. Then the core, right? Bringing your knee and folding and lifting way into the tricep. Three, two, one. Press it back. We're going to go again into your left tricep. So hamstring squeeze. Core engage. Round, round. So squish that peanut into your ribcage and your thigh. Four. Three, two, one. Press it back. Left foot in between the hands. Runner's lunge. Runner's lunge. Get your two blocks. Toss out of the block. <sighs> Lift the chest. Send the hips back. Pyramid pose. Flexing through the left toes. Engaging through your core. Using your core to draw that rib cage towards your thigh bone. Runner's lunge. Pyramid pose. Runner's lunge. Pyramid pose. Wag the tailbone. So notice if your tailbone goes to the left, so wag the tailbone to the right. Again, this is a hamstring stretch, but core engagement. So engage the core, bring your rib cage down, find your peanut to squish. You should be able to go deeper into your pyramid pose. Runner's lunge. Pyramid pose. Engaging with the core, go deeper. Go deeper, deeper, deeper. Deeper. Runner's lunge, drop the back knee down. Lift the left heel forward, up and back. Open up the chest, inhale. Exhale, open. Windmill the right hand down, send the left leg back behind you, supported side plank, full side plank, tree side plank. Send the left arm behind you, opening up through the chest. 
for four, three, two, one. Left hand down, right leg up, one legged down dog. Engaging through your core. Can you get deeper into your down dog? Lower the right leg down. Take your feet wide. Okay, walk your feet together. Walk your hands to your feet. Let's come back into Malasana, round. So this is a very active pose. Your knees are apart. You're trying to round more. So get into your turtle shell. Walk the hands forward as you send your sit bone back, but you're engaging through your core. You're rounding through your low back. You're rounding through your low back. You're rounding through your low back. And you're balancing, and then we're gonna come down and have a seat. So find yourself into the middle, into the middle of your mat, and we're gonna roll down and roll back up, okay? So. You can either do this with a block, squeezing in between your hands. Actually, this helps with the engagement of the core, so actually we should all do this. Find the block, palms, so no grippy, right? Open the palms, reach the arms forward. Don't forget about me. I won't forget about you. This is what I made for 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 Wednesday. Oh, that's lovely, honey. Toodles. Toodles, that's so cute. Okay, we're gonna roll down really nice and slow. So we're gonna engage through the low belly. Low belly engagement. Mom, can you take care I of it? I wanna go really, yes, I will take care of it. Thank you. Thank you. And you're gonna roll, roll, and we're gonna stay here right above the sacrum. So that's right. right above your waist, your sacrum is right here. You're gonna hold, hold, hold. You're gonna scoop and squeeze, and round and squeeze, and scoop and squeeze, and round. Mommy, and then we're gonna go down to the next. Mommy, you think I should left. tell Daddy what it is or not? No, we can give him it as a surprise. What was that? You can give it to him today, if you want. So we can ask him today. What was and you're gonna hold down uh -uh. to the next vertebra and hold. And Mommy, roll down to your Mommy, mid back and hold. Yes, Mom, Fiona. What, what theme does she have? I don't know, honey. It's a very pretty scene. Maybe it's a Disney theme. Well, and you're gonna hold here. Yeah, I'm not gonna let your shoulder blades touch. Yeah, and then you're gonna in. Yeah. And then you're gonna roll back up nice and slow. And you're gonna hold and scoop. And then come all the way back up. You guys sweating yet? I'm sweating. So that strong of an engagement in your core to round, round, round. So reaching your arms forward, squeeze the block, roll, scoop, and hold. We're gonna hold at the sacrum. We're gonna hold at the next vertebra. We're gonna go hold nice and slow, nice and slow. Hold. And then come all the way back down. Toss the arms overhead. Inhale, exhale, curl. Curl, curl, curl with your core. Curl. Hold, scoop, curl, scoop, curl, hold, scoop, scoop and all the way back up. And release, and release. Okay, Crow. So let's go ahead and come on up. We are going to get, this is about getting really compact, really, 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 really compact. And we're gonna get our shin bone, we're gonna get our shin bone onto our triceps. So this one's a little different. It's a, a crow variation. 
and that we're going to get our shin bone over our tricep. So the goal here is to get super compact, super duper 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 compact. So really squeeze the belly, the arms will be bent. So this is about getting really, 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 really compact. Compact, yeah. To get a sensation of what it's like to get the knees closer into the armpits. So I'll put my little crash pad here. So you're gonna get really, really compact and rounded. And the, and the shin bones are going to go across the tricep. Ooh. Yeah, nice. You guys look a lot more compact. Do you guys feel more tighter into this little ball? Yeah, that's it. That's it, yeah, just get, cause just get that feeling of just being squished like a little clam. All right, so now that we've been squished like a little clam, we're gonna combine it with the engagement of our core that we've been doing all. So we're gonna need to perch ourselves onto a little block. And this one is easier on the balance, and I think it builds the core muscles in order to get um, to where you need to be. So we're going to, this is straight arm, and we're just gonna, we're gonna do straight arm, knees into the tricep. So the, here the arms are straight, knees into the tricep. You'll leave one foot onto the block, and we're gonna lift, so this is about hamstring and core engagement on one side, arms straight so you get that sensation, but you get help by having one foot onto the block. Yeah. So this one we're adding, we're adding the elements of straight arm, but we're leaving the training wheels on because you have your block. Yeah. So you got your block. One foot stays under the block, and so we're going to give the sensation of straight arms with the hamstring active on your right side, and then the knee into the tricep. So you have. Peanut under on your knees and peanut here. So straight arms, peanut onto your right side, lifting. Four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna do the other side. So arms straight, arms straight. We're gonna keep our right toes. The uh, tricep is, so the knee's still into the tricep. We're gonna keep our toes under the block, but we're gonna lift the left side. The left toes come off the block, arms are straight. Knuckles are pulling. Four, three, two, one, and release. You should be very, very engaged in your core. It's okay, we didn't lift off. If you wanna lift off, go for it. But I can tell you, you're working really hard. So one more time, straight arms. Straight arms, knees into the way up high, and then float hamstrings engaged on the left side, straight arms. Heels to butt, four, three, Two, and one, and release. 
All right, back to our regularly scheduled programming. Okay, tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing doggy. Your down dog should just feel like it lost another 10 pounds. Should feel super duper light. Inhaling, right leg comes up towards the sky. Swing it way forward, brother's lunge. Drop the back heel down and come up for side angle pose. Side angle pose. Send the right knee forward. Arm circle up. Send the right knee forward and open. For four, three, two, and one. Sweep across. Turn the toes and heels out, wide-legged forward fold. Wide-legged forward fold. Shift the way forward to the balls of the feet, squeeze the inner thighs. Pull yourself forward. Pull yourself forward. You're using the core. Your core is super engaged. Can you get deeper? Since your core is really active, it's awake this morning. Can you get deeper into your core? Walking the hands over to your left ankle. Right hand onto the left ankle. Crawl the left fingertips over your head and twist towards the left. So my left hand is crawling over my head, reaching for my right toes and twisting. Shift the weight forward to the balls of the feet to go deeper. And release, release, release. Your core is super duper active, warmed and rounded. So here, you can take tripod. You can also take tripod against the wall if you so wish. So for tripod, come down onto your knees. Come down onto your knees. Remember, it's tripod, it's triangle, not straight line. So your head will go here on the crown of the head, the flat part of your head. So when, if you measure out from your middle finger, from your hairline, to where your middle finger ends, that's the flat part of the head. That's where, um, you know, your tripod would go. Okay. Your hands are not by your ears because that doesn't make a triangle. Your hands are back here. Elbows bent, lifting the hips. Since if it's available to you, right, like one way is to get your knees onto your triceps. Right, and then pull the knees off by engaging through your core and then extending. Your core is super engaged, so you might be able to just go directly into an egg. Udai, squeeze your elbows together. They look a little chicken wingy. Ooh, nice. Nice. Squeeze your elbows together, Udai. Yes. Now, since you all are in super duper stable tripod, maybe you pike. So maybe you pike, send your tailbone back behind you and pike down and slowly lower down. And can you hover? How far can you hover? And then send the legs back up. Your core is so strong right now and so awake. You have access to your core so much. 
So the first thing, the most important thing is to egg. Then send your legs up. Press your low back behind you as you lower down. Go slow. The slower you go, the strong. Nice. Now, as you get closer to the floor, go slow, go slow. Hover, 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 hover. Now send your legs back up nice and slow. Nice. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and come back down into all fours. Tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Today is all about peanuts and strength. Peanuts and strength. I think it's something, it sounds like we should have elephants in here too. All right, inhaling, we go from here. Oh, inhale, left leg comes in from the sky. Left foot in between the hands, runner's lunge. Back foot to the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhaling, coming all the way back up, floating arms up towards the sky. And close the pose, inhale. Exhale, swan dive it forward. Inhaling, halfway up, exhale, plant the hands, step back, high plank. Lower down, inhaling, up dog. Exhale, tuck the toes, press it back, downward facing dog. Your down dog lost another 10 pounds, it should feel super light. Inhale, left leg comes up towards the sky, swing it way forward, runner's lunge. Side angle pose, left hand down, right arm goes up towards the sky, bend the left knee, drop the right heel down, and twist open, twist open, twist open. Send the right arm behind you, send the left knee forward for five, four, three, two, and one, both legs straight. Uh, Wide-legged forward fold. Wide-legged forward fold. Pull yourself forward, shift the weight forward. You can get deeper into your wide-legged forward fold because your core is on, smashing those peanuts. This one is an open hamstring and engage like a clam with your core. So go deeper into your wide-legged forward fold. Active through your core. Walk your hands over to your right ankle. Left hand to your right ankle. Shift the weight forward. Squeeze the inner thighs. Twist towards the right. Crawl the left, right fingertips towards your left toes and pull. And release, release, release. All right. So come back down. We're going to come back to our crow. We're going to come back to our crow. Now we're going to do bent arm crow. All right, so we're going to go back to what we're used to doing. We're going to do bent arm crow. We're going to add something to it because you know you kind of expected that, right? Bend arm crawl. We're going to add something to it. We're going to do one knee on the other one into the heart. So do you go ahead and do your normal, your normal crow, your bent arm crow or bent arm crow, and you're going to pull one knee into your heart. So you're going to pull the right knee into the heart and hold it for half a second, a second, wherever that can be. Yeah, so, so into crow, super high up, and then you're gonna pull the right knee into your heart and float. And it might not last very long, but that's okay. It's to challenge each side of the oblique. And then we're gonna go again, or we're gonna do the other side. So then we're gonna do crow. Again, the focus is on, okay, the knee going high up into the tricep, and we're gonna move the left knee off of the tricep into your heart center to float. And that's about how long I can hold it, but over time. And so the other thing that helped me was that instead of thinking about moving the knee off, I'm going to engage more 
using my core to lift the knee instead of shifting and using the knee. So you gotta play around with it. So round, crow or crane, and then using the core to lift. If I think about using my core to lift the knee off instead of just moving the knee off, I can last a little bit longer. So try that. And one more on this, on the other side. And we'll just keep working on it over time. Yeah, so instead of thinking about lifting it up, just shift, lift it up and off so that it's in the heart, in the heart center. So we're shifting, so I'm shifting the knee, I don't know if you can see this, I'm shifting, so pretend I'm in crawl, I'm shifting the knee from here to here. Yeah, so one knee is on the tricep and one knee is pulling into the heart center. And then the other side, I'm shifting the knee. Of course, it's a lot easier on the ground. Okay. And then, oh, there was, there was one, oh, so then this one is a nice complementary to that, which is, let me see, did we do another block? I think we do this one on the block, I think. Yeah, so start on the, perch yourself onto the block, pretend you're a little crow. See, I got my little perch. I got my little perch. So from here, you do a two knee hover by shifting the weight forward. Oh, so you can't get your feet up off this way. So you're coming forward. Your feet are still on the block, so that gives you, that's your training wheels, right? You have your training wheels. You shift your weight forward, but both knees are off your, the triceps. So they're both into the heart center. I wonder if I'll do this. Yeah. Easier with the block than without the block. So the more forward that you get, you're going to feel the engagement more intensely in the core. All right, enough of crow, enough of crow. Let's go ahead and come down into our child's pose. Tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Inhaling, right leg comes up towards the sky. Swing it way forward, runner's lunge. Back foot to the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhaling all the way back up, floating arms up towards the sky. Then close the pose, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Take a moment here in your forward fold and see if you can get deeper into your forward fold. Your core is super engaged. Bending the knees here. Wrap your arms around your knees, clasping opposite elbows. Exhale, straighten the tailbone up towards the sky. Gluing your ribcage down to your thigh bones. And release. Release, release. Lifting the heels, come down for a low squat. Come down for a low squat. Reaching your arms forward, squeezing your inner thighs, rolling the heels forward, gluing your rib cage to your thigh bone. Interlace the hands, press up towards the ceiling. 
come into a flat back Utkatasana, so part of half chair. Inhale, full chair Utkatasana. Inhale, open up to the chest. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back, high plank. Lower down. Inhale, lean up low. Exhale, tuck the toes, press it back, downward facing dog. Go deeper into your down dog. Lower the knees down and have a seat into seated angle pose. Inhale, tall. So if you need to, you can sit on a block and you can stay here if this is where you are. Tip the pelvic bowl forward. Your core is super duper engaged. Your hamstrings are very active. See if you can go further in your forward, uh, seated forward angle pose. This is all about your core. With every exhalation, engage your core even more and fold deeper, reaching your collarbone forward. So less about rounding, more about lengthen, but engaging through the core. You should be able to find yourself deeper into your seated fold. Inhale. All right. Now you can tripod from wide uh, from wide legs or headstand from um, with your from your legs out wide. So you can do that against the wall or in the middle of the room, but your core is super duper 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 engaged. So if you want to do, um, you can repeat tripod headstand, right? You can repeat tripod headstand, but from here, right? You can use your core to lift yourself up. Your core is super engaged. You can repeat what we did earlier, or you can do headstand. From here, right? You can take it with wide legs. You can do hike and roll it back up or you can do wide-legged pike and roll it back up. Lots of options for where you are at. But your core is 10 times stronger than when we started class today. Not that it's stronger, it's you're able to access your core tenfold because we woke it up. So tripod and um, headstand both require that really strong and engaged core. And adding the wide-legged aspect to it to challenge yourself even more So you don't even have to bring your knees in onto your... And then take it back down the pike. So I'm sending my tailbone way back behind me. Because there has to be balance. Kiss the floor and come back up.
All right. So now you can go back. We can try crow, crane, crane. One more time. Whichever variation you want to do. You can go ahead and try crane, bent arms, what we, you know, how you normally do it in class, like before today, and see if there's a difference in your crane, in your bakasana. Does it feel lighter? Can you go further? Can you go more forward? Focusing on hamstring activation, lifting the heels up higher, getting the knees up higher into the tricep towards that armpit. Key is this core engagement. And don't underestimate how engaging through the hamstrings actually helps your crane fly. Nice, hamstrings, hams, nice, hamstrings, hamstrings. So close, so close to getting the straight arms. So hamstrings, core, more forward, that looks so good. That looks so good. Nice. All right. Okay, we did a lot of getting into a ball or rolling into a, so we're gonna need to kind of stretch out the other side of our body. So go ahead and come onto our mat, extend the arms out long. Do it so nice and stretch. Good job, Tom. Take the, plant the soles of the feet, mats width apart, drop your knees out, winch your wiper, the knees out right and left. Oh, nice and slow low, nice and slow. We've been doing a lot of uh, psoas or hip flexor uh, engagement, so contraction. So this is opening out the other side. We're stretching the front of our body, right? So it's uh, blah, blah, blah. Bridge pose, tuck the toes, lift the hips. When, um, sorry, connect the soles of the feet, tuck the tailbone, lift the hips. And stretch out the front of the body, squeezing in our thighs. Press the knees towards the front, whatever's in front of you. Cross the right ankle onto the left knee. Drop the legs over to the left. Come and take the twist. Pull this right hip that way. Away from the crown of your head so you can lengthen your spine. And come back to center, other side, figure four, left ankle onto the right knee, drop the legs over and twist. Pull the left hip towards the front wall. And come back to center. Take happy baby. So take the knees into the armpits, but stacking your feet, your ankles over your knees, your knees into your shoulders. Good 
Extend the legs out long, toss the arms overhead. Lower the arms down by your side, palms facing up towards the sky, closing your eyes here. Take the feet a little wider. Allowing the practice to sink into your, into your bones, into your muscles, into your ligaments, into your joints. Inhale, breathing into your low belly. Taking a moment to reflect upon your practice. To know that all of the work and all of the achievement and all of the progression is a result of you and you alone and your hard work and your efforts. That everything that you need resides inside you. The strength, the willpower, the determination. Inhale, inhale, inhale into the low belly. Exhaling, allowing your shoulders to feel heavier and more open, allowing gravity slowly rolling over to one side. Pressing yourself up to seated, rooting the sit bones into the earth. Inhaling arms up overhead, clasping palms together, drawing them down to heart center, bowing forward, namaste. Great work, everybody. You guys look amazing.